Hello everyone, how are you? First of all, I want to apologize for my voice. I've got a cold this week and now I sound probably not that positive. But normally next week it will become okay again. Today I have decided to make something special. You ask me very often to make certain characters from films or cartoons and today I've decided just for an experiment to make a break in my Monster Hire paints and to work on a Disney Snow White Princess. I will not really try to copy the face of the original Snow White character because it's also very cartoonish and it's normal because Snow White comes from a cartoon. But I would rather like to make a girl that could play Snow White in a film. So let's remove her clothes and original makeup, seal her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I sketch her eyes and eyebrows. Then I contour her face with soft pastels, but I should be careful and not blush her too much. She should still stay snow white and not some tanned glamorous girl. Her main skin tone should stay very close to the original one and I will just add some 3D effect to her face. Around her eyes you can always add more dark pastels. This place always much darker because here lay the deepest shadows of all. To be sure that her face doesn't look too brown, I apply a layer of pink soft pastels. And then I take my Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils and start to add more colors and details to her face. You know what is the problem with me and different film and cartoon characters? It's maybe weird, but I really know almost none of them. 
I was looking at all these character dolls trying to choose one, like, oh my god, who are all these people? I know, it's probably strange, but I have no idea who are Harley Quinn, or some Poison Ivy, or the girls from Frozen. It's not like I'm very old, I'm just 33 years old, but in such moments, I feel like I'm at least 70 years old and understand just nothing anymore. So that's why I've chosen Snow White that was released by Disney in 1938, almost 80 years ago. So that's why it's something for me probably, something that I know. I used to work for International Film Festival for many years and that's why from films and series I prefer mainly art house. For example, my favorite TV series of all the times is Twin Peaks by David Lynch. And I feel really tempted to turn one of the male Monster High dolls into Agent Cooper from Twin Peaks. But I'm not sure if it will be interesting for you. Do I have any Twin Peaks fans watching me here? I love French New Wave of the 1960s, Godard and Truffaut, from the later period brilliant Pier Paolo Pasolini, Michelangelo Antonioni, Bernardo Bertolucci, He's a Dreamers, it's probably my number one feature film in my collection. And from contemporary cinema, I love, for example, Paolo Sorrentino, his films and his brilliant The Young Pope series. From some mainstream stories, I have watched probably just The Game of Thrones. And I have watched it for the first time just less than a year ago, because I wanted to know what is this thing that everybody is talking about. It's of course just a small part of my favorite, just some names and titles that popped up in my mind just now. But that's why I don't really know much about Disney cartoons and superhero characters. And what do you like to watch? What are your favorite films, directors, I don't know, actors, characters? Maybe there is something I must watch. Let me know please in the comment. Maybe I'm seriously missing something. And meanwhile, I kept working on my doll's face, adding all the time more and more color accents. After applying some dark pastels to her eye line, I add more highlights to her eyes.
And of course, I cannot forget to draw the bottom eyelashes. And then I add even more highlights with white acrylic paint. And in the end I glue false eyelashes on and apply some glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And now it's her dress. I find the top of the dress quite acceptable, I will just remove this bow. But the skirt seems quite strange to me. Even the color and the whole style have nothing to do with Snow White skirt. So let's remove it and make a new one, normal yellow Snow White skirt. And as far as I remember, Snow White's dress has a white color and it's one of her recognizable features, so I make one using a piece of carton and satin ribbon. And here's the end result! All in all it was an interesting experience for me to make such a repaint, but it also helped me to understand that I definitely like to work more just from my inspiration and fantasy. You know, repainting Snow White into Snow White, it was more an opportunity for me to switch off my creativity for a week and to accumulate my energy for two very special Halloween repaints, and the first of them will be online already next week Friday. And tomorrow you will see what I've made with the second tiny BJD doll that I've presented last week. So subscribe if you don't want to miss my new doll videos. And of course, put your likes if this video was interesting for you, because I really need your support and your feedback. And see you already tomorrow. Bye!